welcome to the session consumer behavior issues and concept this is mmpm 001 block 1 we are going to start that consumer behavior nature scope models and application before we will start that uh, we need to know the contents introduction nature of consumer behavior who is a consumer what is a consumer decision scope of the consumer behavior decision process individual and group determinants of consumer decisions models of consumer behavior including online buying behavior applications of consumer behavior in marketing so first is the introduction so marketing is a function of aimed at satisfying consumer needs and wants so we know it very well that consumer when they are requiring any kind of products we need to understand that what kind of product as a marketer we need to understand what kind of product we are going to send to them but besides that when it is coming to that the brand so they are very much interested for the specific brands so wants are mostly specifically related to a particular kind of brands uh, that how customers are going to accept it who are the customers we cannot say all the products all the customers are going to purchase so because of that we have already gone through that in market segmentations where we can able to know who are the customers they are purchasing what kind of product so the product wise the customers are different also we can say also when the we are going to talk regarding brands so brand wise also customers are different so what the benefits mostly customers are interested for that benefits most of the companies are interested to send this information to the customer and they are providing that kind of benefits to the customer so how are these feelings reflected in the subsequent behavior as a consumers that we are going to study in this particular session who is a consumer so very often we know that we have nowadays offline customers then online customers so offline customers kind of purchases and online customers kind of purchases differs because they are in the physical world they can see verify the product where online customers they cannot verify that they have to see uh, through the online verify they are only and on the basis of that they are going to purchase this particular product consumer behavior is the study of consumers and process they use to choose dispose of product services including consumers emotion mental and behavioral response so we know it very well that our responses are different if you are going through the sr model then we can able to know it very well that the response for all the kind of senses so that is different it because of that we are in the different backgrounds our emotions are different we are in the different mental states so we are selections of that one will be different so consumer behavior is the study of individuals groups and organizations so we are mostly going to focus here in the consumers are as a individual how they are going to select any particular kind of product so consumer emotions then how these emotions can be studied properly by the companies and attitudes how they are behaving in the different timings and preferences preferences mostly focused on that sometimes same level of satisfaction they are going to get it from some of the products but preferences will be more because they are preferring little bit superior or this kind of things can be possible <laughs> roles mostly played by the consumers we know it very well if you are going to study very well in every families we will see that some of the people are very much anxious within the family that to collect the information regarding the new or innovations in the market so that is what do we call them as a influencers influencers are the people who are collecting the informations that may be related to the new products or that is completely unknown to the family so might be young generations like son daughters those who are having the age is uh, less so this big kind of people are liking most then if it is coming that get keepers family members who control the flow of information so it is not possible always what the influencers are trying to do influencing the people it is not possible that they will influence at all so there are get keepers who is controlling the information It means that the information may go to all the members or that the information they may uh, calculate or to take the decisions otherwise they may not consider also that the information from by the influencers third is the deciders mostly you will find the parents those who are 
getting the salaries or who are the good paymaster for any kind of product we call them as the deciders because they are the decision making persons those who are going to take the decisions for the different kind of products and the acceptability of the product is mostly based on the decision makers and we know it very well that the family members wise those who are the oldest people or the elder people they are going to take the decisions in the family buyers so buyers are the persons those who we call them they are going to the nearby retail outlets or they are purchasing through the online and they are directly involved with the purchasing process so we call them as the buyer so young generation people are mostly in the family they are going to purchase this particular kind of product and we call them as the buyers next is the preparers if it requires some kind of transformation of the product like if you are going to say that if it is a product uh, it's a food item so if it is a food item what do you require you require to purchase that particular food item read the instructions then after that you prepare this particular food item so most of the family cases we know it very well that uh, it's the female members or we can call them as a uh, may as uh, sorry is a uh, old age women or you can say that mothers or the sisters they play the heightened roles for the preparers those who are preparing this particular product for the entire family members then they can taste it and do that immediately after that we are going to call them as the users so we know it very well users are almost everybody if it is a product for all but there are specific products where we can say that users are limited like if it is a female oriented products that is like by the females and they are going to use and if it is a male oriented products that is meant for the male and if it is a specific products that kind of things that like if you are going for a particular kind of uh, services or you want to book a hotel you are going by the flights that is a specific cases that you just are different maintenance so maintenance cases most often we have seen that in the family those who are maintaining for the refrigerator for the fans and other things so they are doing their own activities and uh, they are sometimes also repairing of this particular product and giving light service giving these particular services at the right time so that the product will be in the good condition disposers disposers are is what once you have used this particular product what the packaging materials and other things the cover and other things what you are going to dispose of you are going to throw it so we know it very well mostly female members in our family they are going to are uh, doing this particular task is the disposal of this particular kind of products cover and other things or wastages of that particular any kind of product that is so these are the key roles mostly played by the family members and these key roles at the different stages and the different family members as they are playing they plays also a vital role during the decision making of a particular product because these are the different activities they have already done in the family although we don't know but still these people can give the, their own uh, opinion regarding that kind of product whether that should be purchased again or not so that is the key role played by the consumer now we are going to know actually what is consumer decision making process why it is essential to know the consumer decision making process because that when a particular consumer is purchasing so what are the different activities or different things is it happening to him or her like you can say that as a marketer we need to understand the how consumer take the decisions so what are the different stages is going to take the decisions on the basis of that we have the five divisions first is the need recognition and problem recognition second is the information search third is the evaluation of alternatives fourth is the purchase decisions then post purchase decisions so first is the need recognition so very often we know that whenever there is a requirement of any product we ourselves are going to say that this product is essential so two things are there one is your external and second is the internal either you are by seeing other sources and you can take the decision that i require this particular product or from your side you can do this kind of decisions like if i am going to say that if you are calling feeling hungry so that particular time that is an internal basis so you require food for that you have to take the decisions but if you want to purchase any particular tv size and other things so you need this particular information from the outside so that particular cases you 
need recognitions can be created but um, like uh, you, uh, you you may purchase also a car or like that also you can do like this. so when there is a need so that is a need for a product so when it is a need for a product so that particular time you are also equally going to think which brand of product you are going to purchase because today you cannot say i am going to purchase a toothpaste i am going to purchase a refrigerator i am going to purchase a car so you need to say that i need a colgate toothpaste or i want to purchase the this particular brand of car so these kind of things mostly happening when information search so information search you are first searching from your internal sources that is what the brands already you have the knowledge that is stored already in your memory and second stage is what we are going to say that this is from the external what the information you are lacking you need to verify it from the market that or what the new brands came to the market and these brands and the brands which is existing with you you are going to make a comparative analysis to see which is a better option so that can be known in the next stage that is evaluation of alternatives what is evaluation of alternatives so here there are few brands or whom you are going to select for the final decisions so here the brands which are available in the market so that brands you are going to evaluate what basis you are going to evaluate that your evaluations are on the basis of the attributes so the attributes you can say it is a benefits by the customers but attributes by the seller so these benefits you are going to evaluate which product or which brand of product you are getting more benefit this differs from brands to brands and person to person if i am going to say one brand is better everybody is not going to accept that because they are perceiving which is better as per their requirement so benefit differs from customers to customers so that's why when there is a evaluation of alternatives you are going to find too many brands are there out of this particular brands you are going to select which brand is better and that brand you are going for the next decisions so next is coming your purchase decision although you have evaluated and finalized might be you got two to three items or the products or, or the different companies but when it is coming for the purchase decision you are going for a single purchase that means one brand of product you are going to purchase so that particular case is what you need to do you need to evaluate further that which product you want to do so that is other criteria are there maybe financial criteria is one of that that to take the decision whether you want to purchase or you may make it as a decision pending that you do not want to purchase it now because of the high price later on you may purchase so these two criteria after evaluation of alternatives also not purchase decisions is it happening so for the purchase decisions to purchase which one the product you want to purchase so you must be financially sound enough to purchase that category of product and second thing is that you are taking the decision instantly you are not going to delay your decisions immediately after purchase then it is coming the post purchase evaluation this is a human tendency that once they have purchased any particular kind of product they will evaluate so how are they going to evaluate this particular kind of product so they are evaluating on the basis of the product what they have not selected let us say it is a four brands are there so you have selected finally one brand so you are now comparing with these three brands which you have not purchased with the brand what you have purchased and if you are not going to get that level of satisfaction with this particular product then you are a dissatisfied customers so most of the cases post purchase evaluation is giving a result of that are you satisfied customer or dissatisfied customer so this is again based on that what kind of product you have purchased the product might have if it is a low priced items yes after post purchase evaluation you may change it but if it is a high priced item you may not change it because already what the decisions you have taken so you have to move with that decision so that's why you will find this consumer decision making process it is time consuming for the product whose price is very high or the product whose decisions are complex or the features are complex so you need to take more time to take the decisions because you know it very well once something be decided and purchased so you cannot change it but if i'm going to talk regarding if it is a fmcg product fast moving consumer goods which every day almost you are going to purchase if it is a toothbrush toothpaste like that so that particular case is what is it happening that even if also if your decision is not right you have taken one of the brands uh, you may not like it later on so you can change this particular brand you can switch over to another brand because this is not a big issue 
but when you are going for a camera high priced camera if it is a high priced car that particular cases although post purchase evaluation is not good or bad you cannot change it or you may go for nowadays also the company has given also option to the people that go for the exchange so you may go for the exchange for that kind of product but the problem is what when you are exchanging you are also equally losing the amount of money so that is what we called it as a post purchase evaluation so consumer decision making process when we are understanding here why as a marketer is going to understand this particular thing it is very important that the customer how they are preferring how they are selecting what are the different brands they are comparing how they are going to select that this brand is superior than other brands and how they are purchasing and how the financial matter is related to their decision making of the purchases and finally how they are evaluating all these things when the marketer came to know it will be very interesting factors or it will be very easy for the marketers to decide or design this particular products in as per the requirement of the consumer now the factors influencing consumer behavior so when we are going to talk that how consumers are taking the decisions so there are too many factors but we have considered here five major factors which decision making is based on that so first is the psychological factors social factors cultural factors personal factors economic factors so these factors are too many we are going to find in the market because every stages there is a chance that you may select or may deselect a particular brand of product so that is because of the factors which are responsible for that so every time we are being bombarded through too many kind of senses that means sensory organs being means affected by this one so what are the things is it coming to us that is the signals the inputs is it coming to us which is affecting to our senses then our reactions are there and our reactions are based on there we are going to develop the attitude so psychological factors social factors cultural factors and personal factors and economic factors these factors are controlling us to take the decisions whether your attitude is positive your attitude is not positive all this is based on these particular factors let us go through all those factors to understand very clearly that how these factors are going to affect to the different consumers so first is psychological factors so let us say these are the five factors we can say but we may consider here is a poor attitude and believe we are considering one otherwise we are going to say it is a five factors attitude is one and believe is one so it starts with motivation then it is perception then learning attitude and beliefs it starts with the motivation so very often we have seen also that uh, if you are selecting any particular kind of dress or selecting a particular brand of car we selecting a particular brand of bike so that particular cases you know it very well that uh, your friend circles uh, your parents uh, your other relations might have played a vital role to motivate you that this is good or bad sometime what is it happening that uh, you are very much interested to purchase a particular brand of product and you have also evaluated properly but the motivation is not there because your friend circles are not giving a good opinion or a positive opinion regarding this particular brand of product so that is what demotivating to select that kind so motivation that's why we need to be very careful that to see whether the customers what way this is motivated these companies also equal to see that these things must be present with the product may it be sometime you will find that the companies are giving a good dimensions in the product means the colors are very nice the shapes are very nice and looks wise very nice got it so these are the things mostly you will find in the case of motivation which is motivating a lot to the customers besides that also there are certain features which is motivating a lot this feature is not available with the competitors brand so what it will happen automatically the person is going to prefer more on that so motivations mostly we have seen this kind of things are affecting a lot so our influencers are great plays a vital role in the motivation so when influencers are doing that activity so it is always true that sometimes we have taken the decisions for a particular brand but we have not purchased that particular brand because the motivation positive motivation is not there second is coming perception so perception when we are going to talk very often we have seen that uh, perception cases 
that it is a uh, people in the environment which environment they are uh, start with their career or start with their they grow up in that particular environment that plays a vital role for the perception uh, you may like may not dislike because of you have seen such kind of things in your life so perception is based on that what you have uh, understood what you have got the information as a input and what you have selected is important for your life and then that is the selection organization and interpretation cases that we are going to read in the later on classes so that selecting any informations which is vital for you and organizing them to go for a clear picture to understand what is the object and what is the utility of that particular object and that particular products uh, demand in your life so that is mostly you are trying to see in the case of your perception and uh, perception uh, differs from person to person because uh, the person which is in the rural environment person is in the urban environment a uh, person that has gone for the abroad you will find the perception will be different and their opinions are also based on the perception which uh, they are you are going to find during that particular time even if also if i am going to talk regard if you are selecting a particular kind of product or uh, it's a food item so that particular cases your perception differs that what kind of food you like most and what kind of food you do not like it and uh, during the course of actions that you have seen this kind of product and your perception will change third is coming that is learning learning is every day we are going to talk that what we are studying and doing all this thing that is learning but besides that we are also learning too many other things we cannot say this is not in a classroom somebody is going to talk about a particular area and you are learning that one it is entirely environment or a social system which is educating every time regarding the different products just like if i am going to say that to purchase a particular product not to purchase a particular product so that is also equally done by the learning because your perception can be changed through the learning that if you are learning you are being exposed towards the different kind of things then definitely the learning will be better and you can learn it also very properly and the course of action that if i am going to talk regarding that uh, if it is a technical products if you have learned a lot if i am going to take the example like if it is a laptop so your likingness in the laptop in the matriculation stage and your likingness for the laptop at the graduation level will be different because the knowledge based what you have got in matriculation and knowledge based what you got in the graduation are different so that's why your selection of brands are also and selection of the models are also different this is all about your learning and attitude and beliefs so it is a human tendency to develop the attitude so sometimes it is happening also uh, we should not uh, keep the attitude or we develop the attitude instantly because lot of things are there very often we have seen that by uh, seeing a picture by seeing a particular model of car by seeing a particular color of products we are developing our attitude that this is good or this is bad so this is a very uh, wrong things that uh, the customers are sometimes developing the attitude but it is very much essential to first understand the product properly see the too many features of this particular product verify with the other competitors of this particular product then you develop the attitude and that is very often is it happening so that's why companies are giving more importance to the look part because in look wise the product is uh, mostly customers are liked then you will find the uh, attitude of the customers will be better and they are mostly going to like it and next is coming regarding your beliefs beliefs is a long term process if i'm going to talk regarding uh, you are believing something that this kind of technology is good and you are believing uh, this kind of technology is not good means changing this particular thing will take much more time so this kind of things are very often happening that uh, uh, people with their old concept old kind of uh, uh, process they are adopted adopting the new process uh, quite difficult uh, like if i am going to say that old age people are using still now the 3g set of cell phones they are not willing for this uh, Uh, Android mode of uh, cell phone. The reason behind that one is that they are already accustomed with that kind of uh, cell phones, and they are going to say that it's not essential to uh, go for a bigger one when our only task is to talk and to send SMS. Uh, so this kind of cell phone set is better. So why should we go for 4G, 5G, and all kind of things? So that's why beliefs 
uh, what you are believing and uh, changing that belief will take some time to change it will not change overnight so that's the kind of thing you will find so these are all what we call it as a psychological factors which is affecting the customers that uh, whether they are going to select a particular brand of product or not second is coming the social factors as we know it very well that uh, we are belonging to the different kind of families if you are going to talk regarding the families that we are in a nuclear family and uh, we are uh, in a joint family then we will find also we are in a extended family like that uh, uh, but uh, day by day these concepts is changing that most often we are in a nuclear family so when in a nuclear family your behaviors are different because the decisions maker are less your parents are there and only you are uh, or your brother or sister might be there so limited members the decision making is also faster at the same time also uh, this is also influencing a lot for the decision making because sometimes parents are taking the decisions but sometimes also you will find that nowadays what we have seen in the market that uh, uh, the product oriented that means if i am going to say that uh, if this product belong to uh, a young generation person they are old age persons are not taking the decisions let us say if it is a dress uh, if it is a cell phone that kind of product cases mostly you will find that uh, parents are not involving themselves for the decision making that the children are taking the decisions uh, even if also two days you will find that the tvs and cars cases also the young generations are mostly going for that one so family members cases mostly you will find that is they plays a vital role to take the decisions for any kind of things next is coming your reference groups reference groups is mostly we are going to say uh, first reference group you can say it is a family members because you are always interacting with your family member so we can call them as the primary groups so primary groups uh, is their influence is very high but besides that we have also the office colleagues then also we have the friend circles where we are mostly gossiping talking with each other so they are also there is a kind of discussions regarding the brands and products being happening so sometimes they play also the vital roles for selecting any kind of product or services let us say i want to do the insurance so which kind of insurance is better sometimes our reference group members are taking playing a vital role to take the decisions regarding that one so that's why this is reference group is also another factors which is affecting a lot roles and statuses roles and statuses means like in the companies how the people have the different roles in families also also we have already discussed the different roles you are going to play as a brother as a sister as a father as a son so as the different roles and statuses sometimes the brand selections also differs so some of the cases you have the rights to take the decisions some of the cases you may not have the rights when the senior members are there whatever the decisions they are going to take regarding the brands you are going to simply obey so this plays a vital role also sometimes in the family that what the roles they are playing and besides that outside also in the social systems people are playing the different roles as a uh, leader as a member of a particular club and they are, their roles are also different they are also taking the decisions for that one so this is what we are going to talk regarding how social factors are affecting to the customer now it is cultural factors cultural factors we know it very well that uh, country like india we are uh, uh, different in uh, different aspects like uh, if you are going to say on the basis of religion we are different uh, if you are going to talk regarding that we are in languages we are different then if you are going to talk regarding our practices within the same religion also the practices differs because of the locations somebody is belonging to up somebody is belonging to odisha somebody is belonging to the punjab the way or practices the rituals mostly that differs so kind of product purchases also you are going to find different like i can say that if you will find the kind of utensils mostly used in india the different states will be the shapes and sizes will be different okay so that is the one part second part if it is coming the dresses so dresses wise also our selections are different and our purchases are different and depending on the different functions also and our kind of selection of the products are also different so because of that we know it very well culture plays a vital role for the selection of any brands of the product let us say you are going to purchase any car bike cases we know it very well that uh, the earlier the black color car selling was not so high but recently day by day people are going to purchase the black color because black color was not a uh, good colors for the hindu religions that's why most of the people are not preferring to purchase their first 
vehicles in the black cars. So that was the kind of conditions are there. And uh, red colors mostly accepted. That's why bike and cars with the red color selling was very high those days. But nowadays, the to some extent the concept being changed. But still, we have seen in the market that uh, uh, the cars, mostly the white color car selling, is also very high. So cultural factors have the strong influence on the consumer behavior. So uh, what do we prefer? Uh, what values we are going to give? What ethics or ritual practices we are going to do? As a bigger, we are going to say it is a culture that within the culture we are going to find too many subcultures. That means if we are going to talk regarding any state having a particular kind of culture, within that state also you will find district wise also the cultures are different. So there is also the uh, relevance of that particular influence and on this particular product and brand, and people are going for that one. And last one is under the cultural factor is the social class. So we know it very well that the country uh, like India, we have uh, three sections. One is uh, upper class, then middle class, and lower class. And the decision makers will find that highest time consume, consumed. By the which class, social class of people, you know it very well, that is the middle class people. And we call them as the middle class because they have limited amount of money with them, mostly white color jobs, and they are unable to save it with this particular limited amount of money. They have to take the decisions for the different kind of products and different kind of brands. For them, selection or making decision, the time consumption is very high. But if you are going to talk regarding the lower class, so lower class people are unable to purchase too many products, so they do not want to bother about what brands and other things are available in the market. And upper class cases, they are giving very less time to take the decision because everything can be affordable, they can afford it, and that's why it is not they are not consuming much more time to take the decisions for any kind of products that is happening also. So that is all about that the social class how it affects us as a, we are belonging to upper class or belonging to the middle class or to the lower class so cultural factors also has a great role for decision making process now it is the personal factors although we know it cultural factors but still uh, personal factors this is that age wise our selections are different if i'm going to say also uh, that the selection of a particular brand or product uh, during the child age mostly uh, it is um, color oriented might be there or honey type of things mostly we are going to purchase. Uh, if you can see that also in the case of toothbrush uh, that uh, for the children the toothbrush shape and sizes are different then you will find that the toothbrush for the adult people are different the colors are also different. Second factor is it coming income. So we know it very well. Earlier, there is a credit card which is available, which were mostly focusing on the income. And we know it very well. That is, if it is a gold card, if it is a diamond card, it is a platinum card. So depending on the salary, what figures you have on the basis of that, you can able to select that kind of credit card that is possible. But you will find nowadays also almost everybody can able to afford almost all the products. But specific cases, I can say that that is in the car cases. If we are going to talk regarding a uh, Mercedes car or if we are going to talk this is uh, the other cars, those who are high priced cars and that is your Audi cars and other cases that we are going to find there is a specific kind of customers those who are coming under the social class. Then middle class people day by day their income groups are also segregated uh, then we can say them also that is discretionary income. So more is the discretionary income they can uh, take the decisions regarding that and we call them as a discretionary income which income left after paying all kind of investment and tax. And that kind of incomes is increasing day by day, but because of that, uh, our lifestyle expenses is going up. So that's why also by uh, recent news, this income is also again reducing because of the expenses are going up. Third is coming occupation. Occupation wise also we are selecting or preferring as a doctor, as a teacher, as a lawyer, our uh, preferences for the different category of products are different like uh, businessmen selections for a car you can say that the digital mode of cars they may select but white color jobs mostly going to prefer that is the uh, petrol related cars so that is happening next is the lifestyle lifestyle cases we have seen very often that uh, people having the same amount of money belonging to the same social class but their lifestyle is different but some of the people are spending on lifestyle, they are going to the different hotels, uh, 
and uh, using their time that is idle time with some kind of uh, uh, going out or uh, tourist places they are going for that one and some of the people they want to purchase different kind of product or they do not want to keep this kind of product by keeping this amount of money as a savings so lifestyle differs because how is your spending pattern if your spending pattern is poor then you have a better lifestyle if your spending pattern is not good then we are not going to concern uh, consider that your lifestyle is better and nowadays most of the companies are very much interested for your lifestyle because you know it very well there is uh, jamato then you are going to find swiggy and other companies they came to the market to increase your expenses on the fooding item people those who are foodie enough so they are interested earlier there is a only option that is the standardized hotels are there so uh, even if it is a rainy season and some things you are unable to order and uh, the companies or this we can say that institutions or organizations are unable to sell their products and commodities very well because of that uh, customers are unable to come to their hotels so nowadays because of this kind of services so you can able to see that uh, the advantages is more and uh, uh, we can talk regarding ola and uber also they have also plays a vital role that point to point service system uh, a person can able to book it and uh, sell it so lifestyle being changed so these are the all personal factors uh, mostly we consider that whether we as a individual uh, going to select this particular product or services or not so these factors affect a lot now there is the income factors personal income so your individual income then family income then consumer credit liquid assets savings personal income and family income these two things are also very complex we can say your personal income can be a family income and we can say your personal income is a personal income like if it in your family that multiple earners are there so everybody is earning then this is a personal income of yours but if you are the only one earner everybody is depending on you then it is a family income so mostly you will find personal income cases the disposable income will be more so you can spend more on yourself but in the case of family income you cannot spend more amount of money on yourself so you have to wait or you have to see that what are the balance or remaining amount with you on the basis of that you can spend for the different other items or services so your decision making for the different kind of products is difficult when it is a family income but in personal income cases your decision making is quite easier for the different kind of products and here you can take the decision in the personal income cases for yourself but in the family income cases you have to take the decisions for the each and every family members next is coming that the consumer credit when consumer is offered easy credit to the purchase goods nowadays you might have seen also that uh, to entrap the customers the uh, marketers have the different options like that uh, uh, you can go for the pay later cases that is amazon being started uh, then uh, you are going to find flipkart also started with this particular concept of uh, paying this one emi concept they have already started with this particular thing so these are the things by which customer can able to purchase what he was not thinking earlier so day by day as the marketer came to know that it is not possible always the customer can purchase on cash basis to convert the cash products into the credit products so that particular case is what it has happened that mostly they are giving importance to the credit when the price is very high definitely you have to give through the credit sales so most of the if you are going to talk regarding the cars and other things the major role played here is the banks as the banks are tied up with the different car companies so it is quite easier for the customers to purchase any particular car and also they have changed the uh, duration from 5 years to 7 years so that is mostly happening and liquid assets so nowadays people are going to purchase different kind of uh, uh, investments they are trying to do if it is a land investment that is a you know insurance investments uh, like your mutual funds also they have gone through uh, so these investments are played a vital role to any particular time if you require some amount of money it's not possible that you can keep it as a balance in your banks uh, but if you are spending in the different patterns like your uh, savings account or uh, sorry in the savings or that is in mutual funds or you are in insurance or uh, provident funds like that so you can accumulate that amount of money and can sell and nowadays also we can say that uh, gold also one kind of investment already being popularized among the customers 
and land is also equally the assets so if you have spent that amount of money that will be helpful for in the future purchases or future services if you want to get it savings uh, savings is that uh, how am, much amount you can keep it like uh, i can say that uh, if you are going to spend more amount of money on the items then your savings will be less but day by day when the uh, expenses for essential commodities being increased so that's why our savings basket is smaller and smaller so there is a requirement that uh, savings basket must be bigger so that they can take the decisions for the uh, any other items like your consumer durable items or high engineering products that they can take the decisions otherwise if the savings will be very small so only you are going to focus on the fmcg items and the time will not come for to take the decisions for this one so these are the economic factors how is it affecting for the uh, decision making now we'll go for the models so we have the different models for consumer decision making process so we have discussed here two models one is our set model second is the angel blackwell minion model these two models are based on the your uh, uh, product offline products when you are trying to purchase and we have also one online models to discuss on that so here the models are these people developed through uh, by taking the opinion of the different people that uh, which aspects they are giving more importance during their decision making process and that aspects they have considered and uh, Uh, kept it and make it as a total model. How that is the influence from the sources is it happening, and how the decision making takes place by the customers, and how finally the consumer is going to purchase this one. To understand this one, let us go through the first model that is uh, Howard set model. This is a very complex model, uh, but once you understand it, you can understand it very easily. This is not at all a big part. Uh, you can see the entire uh, diagram. Uh, you will find we have divided into four to five sections. So first section is what we are going to call it as inputs. Second section is the output, and the upper part what we are going to find that is your external environment. And within this particular thing, what you are going to find that is the decision making process what we are going to say we can call it as a black box okay that is black box means here is the decision making process text means. so left hand side is the different brands how the different brands are perceived by the customer perceived by the customer on the basis of quality quality wise the brands are different second is the price price was also we are going to find the differences there distinctiveness what extent one product is different from the next products that is what we call it is extent of distinctness that is from one product to next product differs then availability so all the products are not available everywhere so availability based also customers are preferring those brands which products are available in the nearby retail outlets if it is not available they may not select that particular brand service product cases some of the product cases we require the service like if it is high engineering products or if it is durable items Like we can call it laptops, if there is washing machine and all these kind of things, car cases. So if the service center is not available nearby, we cannot take the decisions. So these are the things in the inputs where we are going for the search for information. So as a customer, we are searching the information from the different brands, and this is the inputs which is available. Then which are the environmental things which is controlling us? So first is importance of purchase. So how important this purchase is? Very often, is it happening also? We are being bombarded with too many kind of informations regarding the different brands of products, but we are not interested for that particular kind of products. So that means the importance is not there. If the importance is not there, we are also neglecting that. Second is personality variables. How these particular brands is related to your kind of personalities. Whether it is you are going to like it or not like it on the basis of your personality. Third is social class. The product which is available is it the your social class people are purchasing these kind of products or not? If they are not purchasing, you may not find it is suitable for you. Culture. Which culture are you belonging to? What we have already discussed. If you are belonging to that particular culture and that kind of product is available and you are liking, your kind of people are liking this particular product, you may see it. 
organization that hot organization who is selling this particular product and that you are going to evaluate that particular thing next is the time pressure sometimes what is happening when the time pressure is less you can take the different variants of the brands or products you can select out of that but when the time pressure is more like when you are moving in the train and selecting a particular brand of newspaper is quite difficult because already you know it very well that time is not there and which is the brand is available you are going to take financial status what is your financial status are you uh, ready to purchase that kind of product whether you are financially able to select that kind of brand or not that you are going to take the decisions on that now it is coming the output part output part is the same thing what we have discussed that the five stages that is that the same thing you are going to find here it is the attention attention once attention is going towards that brand or not if attention is not there you are not interested for that particular brand then once attention is there you have seen this brand is looking very nice then you are going for the comprehending this particular brand this brand is good or bad and then you are developing your attitude whether i should go for it or not so that is positive attitude or negative attitude so once that has been happened then it is coming to the intention intention has to bifurcate things one is that you are positive attitude but at the same time also negative attitude is also there but positive attitude negative attitude is the previous stage but in intention cases although positive attitude is there but you are financially strong enough to select or not and second is that are you interested to purchase now or you want to purchase later on so this is mostly playing a vital role in the intention immediately after that you are going for the purchases and the purchase behavior is there so now if you are going to set on the purchase behavior we can able to see the satisfaction so here in this particular model one of the drawback is that no dissatisfaction is there so satisfaction is only one criteria is there and from this particular satisfaction then it is coming evoked set we know it very well in our memory which brands are existing that is most preferred brands are existing in our brain or memory so that's why we call them as a evoked set decision motives decision motives cases that what the decisions you are going you are making a criteria to select one brand so out of this 20 brands you are selecting only five brands so this is your decision motives to select that one specific motives and non specific motives are you interested for that particular brand or not interested you have a specific motives for that category of product if you have specific motives then your decisions will be there non specific motives your decisions will not there so that is related to your predisposition predisposition means that is like your attitude so this is going to create that it is positive or negative and that leads to your purchases got it attitude to them it is going to the purchase and here in the input stage if you will go for that what the information you got it that is coming to the sensitivity of information people are sensitive to the information or not if they are not sensitive to the information that information they are not going to capture so they are not going to select that information so what it will happen so they are that information rejected or if their sensitivity then it is going to the attention if it is sensitivity to information next is coming perceptual biasness although the information is sensitive at this but your there is certain brands are already existing in your brain which is good let us say if i am going to talk regarding if it is a philips brand and it is a sony brand that sony brand already you are liked so much but whenever philips brand is showing also the good things about that particular still you are not selecting because your biasness is too much towards the so ni so that's the kind of thing is it happening this is all about howard set model which is explaining that how to take the decisions next we are going through the nicosia model but before going for the nicosia model we need to know that extensive problem solving limited problem solving and routinized response building extensive problem solving is what that when you have the limited information to take the decisions you have to search a lot that is extensive when you have mediocre only and uh, already the informations are plenty with you only you require few information to take the decisions that particular time you are going for the limited problems of that and last one is the routinized response behavior you are very strong to take the decisions regarding which brand you are going to select but you are doubt in certain criteria for that what you are going to do routinized response behavior product. so now here it is you are going to find angel blackwood minion but like the same thing we are going to find here that only difference is that variable influencing decision making here environmental variables and individual differences are there so culture social class personal influence family situation all are in the same and also individual differences cases consumer resources motivational involvement 
knowledge, attitude, personality, lifestyle, demography. This is also the same variables which is affecting. I am not going to repeat it again. Again, here also you are going to find need recognition that already we have completed. Immediately after the need recognition, then you are going for the post purchase search, pre purchase search. And search cases, we have here two things. One is through the internal search that is going to the memory. So we are searching what the brands are existing with us. And from this particular memory, we are going to again need recognition. And if it is not available in your memory, we can able to see from search one is going to the external search. So in the external search, we are going to the stimuli. That means what is it available in the market? So we are always capturing the information which informations are dominating. Other informations we are not trying to collect it. So that says too many marketer dominated others, and that is exposure, and that is creating your attention, then the same thing, comprehension, then acceptance of this particular brand and you are retaining that particular brand that that is brand is good or bad that you are going to retain and that remain with your brain that is in your memory. So that is again also going to change your need recognition. So this is from the source you are going to find alternative evaluations. So here you are evaluating which brand is good, but here the control is three things, beliefs, attitudes and intention. You are believing that particular brand, your attitude towards that particular brand, then your intention. In these three things criteria, after that it is going to the purchase. If are, all are positives, then you are going to the purchase. If one positive, next negative is, it depends on the what extent this is good or bad. And once purchase is there, here you will find what the drawbacks of the uh, your uh, our set model that you are going to find here. Two things, one is your outcome is satisfaction and dissatisfaction. When you are dissatisfied on a particular brand or product, then you are going towards the external source. But if you are satisfied, then again you are going to the need recognition and you are selecting. That means it is going to the beliefs. You are believing you may be a brand loyal customer if you are satisfied, but when you are dissatisfied, you are a brand switcher. So brand switcher means you will always search for external search. But in the case of if you are satisfied, then you are a brand loyal customer. You will repeat this particular brand again and again. But during this course of action, maybe some of the external variable that going to influence, they may change your brand. That can be possible. This is all about what we are going to talk regarding the engine language media model. Now it is the online consumer and technology acceptance model. Here we are going to find Fred Davis has developed this particular thing because everybody is nowadays we are in the online model. So that's a perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. How useful this particular product or product? If let us say it is a 4G sets, whether it is useful for me or not, that first you are going to study. Second is that perceived ease of use. Is it easy for me to do this thing? So you will find perceived usefulness in the oldest people for the 4G set is good, but perceived ease of use is difficult. But in the young generation, perceived usefulness is good at the same time also perceived a. Uh, each of use is also equally good. So that is what is it happening that intention to use when both the things are in positive that is controlling that one. Both of the things have gone and intention to use that means you are very much interested for the using that kind of brand of product. So what you will do next you will go for the actual use of that particular kind of product. So this is mostly happening in the online consumers. So online consumers cases we need to understand it very well. The first is that how useful this particular brand of product or not. Second is that whether I can able to handle this particular product easily or not. Next is coming that my intention to purchase whether it is essential now or not. If it is not essential then later on I can delay this particular process or I have I do not have that amount of money also intention that you can do and actual use after that then you are going to purchase. Now online purchases these are the things very often we have seen anybody has gone through the Flipkart, Amazon and all these things definitely you are going to find. That when you are searching, all the brands we are searching through our cell phone. So first thing is it coming to your mind that is main motivation to shop online. Why should I go for the online? Most of the people when they are going to purchase on online is based on that the discount. That is latest, you know it very well due to Ganesh Puja, then you are going to find uh, Diwali, then you are going to find uh, the Sarah. So all kind of things, the discounts are going on. So people have the tendency to compare the brands to see the pictures. And some new brands are also entering to the market, what we called it as a plus sales. So plus sales is a completely new product entered to the market with a lower price. So that plays a wider role. They are sometimes also giving the time that within this particular time you want to purchase, you can purchase this kind of product. So that is possible. So time taken in the activities. Next is coming 
time taken in the activity so here customer engagement also plays a vital role what is the duration you are being engaged with flipkart engaged with amazon that is also observed by the company so more is the time you are going to spend more is the chances that you are going to purchase the product less is the time you are going to spend so less is the chances of purchasing this kind of product and the payment options nowadays day by day we are going to find the payments options are changing that means uh, cod that means you pay it pay on order that it is happening then uh, you are going to say by credit card by debit card then upi payment system so so many payment gates are there this is making more easier for convenient for the customers to purchase the product then time for delivery sometimes also nowadays customers are selecting that whether they will be available during that time or not if they are going outside the city like that so that will plays a vital role to select Uh, which product is coming in which time so that plays a vital role time for delivery and which time they are delivering also that lot of flexibility flexibility given by already the companies that uh, uh, to give morning time or to give evening time even if also sometimes they are delivering in the next day if are not available there and major influences so what are the different things of that influencing that means you can say uh, purchasing giving uh, that means the uh, else executive should come at the right time or you can say that uh, the product should reach at the right time or when you have ordered it should come quickly so these are the few issues uh, that plays a vital role to select that particular brand of product F experience of the transactions so mostly when you are transacting that the transaction failure must not be there the gateway must be better gateway or even if also payment it has gone twice or some way problems has occurred what it will happen that uh, you can experience that uh, this is not at all a good game so transaction it has happened that means auto recovery or they are going to mention within 3 4 days you are going to get back so like that this information will come that will be a great experience so that is purchase one one product second product or third product all those cases online cases we are going to see that these are the criteria most we are going to want to select which is better and most of the time you know it very well that people are preferring whether it is a Uh, to purchase from the Amazon, purchase from the Mintra, purchase from the Flipkart. It depends on these are the options what we have seen. Now, application some the consumer behavior in marketing. So when we have gone through all these things, so as a marketer, somebody is going to sell a particular product. So what he is going to see by understanding all these things, we understood every aspects of the consumer, how they are doing, how they are purchasing, how they are taking the decisions. the time consumption everything so after that as a marketer what we are going to see analyzing market opportunity what the opportunities are available for the customers so what kind of opportunity you can give as a new marketer so that you need to identify and you have to find it out second is selecting the target market so this is more important are you interested to sell through the uh, online sales or through the offline sales or if it is for the mass marketing or if it is for the selective marketing all these things you have to discuss from the make the decisions from the beginning so that it will be quite easy for you to do that then determining the marketing mix what kind of product you are going to sell so that also you have to see it's a bigger product smaller product how to transport it all these things second is the price how are you going to fix the price structure competitive price unique price structures that you are going to do place how to distribute this particular product to the customer that is also important to uh, do that one and last one that you are going to find that is a promotion how you are going to promote this particular product are you interested for the online promotion offline promotions or whether you are going through the advertisement sales promotion then direct marketing or public relation or pr activities anything you want to do also that you need to do it from the beginning and using non profit and social marketing day by day the things are uh, different mostly we are going to find government then some of the institutions they are going through the different kind of marketing activities they are the laws the tax structure being changed every information they want to send to the customers and nowadays we know it very well e governance system also came to the market where this kind of things are happening and this is giving an advantages to the customers regarding the social marketing and this thing and that is all about what we have discussed i think that this particular session will be very much helpful to all of you to understand consumer behavior and equally to understand that how marketer to sell this particular product in the market 
how consumer behavior plays a vital role to take the decisions for the marketer in the different timings. Thank you.